Welcome back to Spencer Lawn Care. We hope you all are having a great Friday and hope you have a great weekend. Our problems continue today. Let's hop into the video. Uh, his mower just shut off. This is called the Quad Air 3000 Stinger Equipment. This thing is sweet looking. Check this out. So I don't do much aeration anymore. I used to do it a lot and uh, just kind of got away from it during Cove because as you guys know, seed went through the roof and you know, it just wasn't something, you know, we wanted to fight with, but check that out. That's a nice little machine. This has to be somebody's machine. I'm assuming maybe getting it worked on because I know Schleybos doesn't sell these here unless they started in the last few months but oh look at that spencer connecticut it was meant for me to record this that's pretty cool i had no clue they're in uh La lagrange kentucky this is a pretty sweet looking little machine i'd hop on it and show you guys but it's not my machine so yeah oh yeah it's brand new 9.7 hours very cool very cool i'm assuming this is the hopper like i said it's not mine so i'm not going to open it up but check that out so if you've never been to Schleybaugh's, it is in Apple Creek, Ohio. They are Toro dealer, steel dealer. They carry Honda in here as well. Generators, uh, pressure washers, all kinds of different things. I'll give you a quick glimpse. Absolutely breathtaking to walk in as well and see the whole entire thing. Pretty cool, huh? And yes, Reuben caught that fish. It's the number one question people always ask me. <laughs> it's always about the fish. So, yeah, there they got the uh, old electric one if you wanna come and get that. Push mowers. Like I said, back there on the back wall, you really, they're kind of hidden a little bit, but they sell a ton of them, Honda generators, Toro battery stuff. They got it all. Come in here, see Josh, Ruben, Dennis, any of these guys, get you taken care of. All right, guys, so I had to turn around, forgot my trimmer string. Anyways, been some viral TikTok videos going around about putting your trimmer line in water. And yes, this one right there, it does tell you to uh, put your trimmer line in water, keep it moist. We personally, we go through it pretty quickly, so I don't worry about it. I've never had a real issue with it breaking, but it can get brittle. The biggest thing is not everybody uses this line or a line that has to be put in water. So if you see that little emblem right there, this one does recommend to soak it in water and to keep it, you know, moist. With that being said, whenever you go in to buy your trimmer line, a lot of them uh, don't recommend that. And some of them actually have signs on there that says, don't do it. So make sure you're paying attention to what you're reading and which trimmer line you're buying uh, so that you don't do something to your trimmer line that could actually make it weaker. We're back again. <laughs> Aren't you guys sick and tired of seeing us just yet? Oh yeah. Let me show you guys something. Those are fashionable. Listen, I forgot. I went during Miley's uh, practice. I like to get my walk in and I take my earbuds and I forgot them in my car. So these are the uh, backups. We keep those in the truck. Only the cool kids get to rock those when they forget their headset. That's right. Hey, you know, because I'm a cool kid. <laughs> All right, be a cool kid and get your mower off my trailer. Who's she lying to? Mrs. Cohen goes on this side anyways.
not have good sun right now. It's literally straight up. better stripe at this angle still not doing it justice
uh, his mower just shut off. What happened? It just completely just shut down. You can cl see, clearly see that we have fuel, so that's not the issue. Check here, guys. Mainly, there's fuses and stuff back here, and sometimes they'll work themselves loose. But I got nothing. You guys don't know. You can take this cover down really easy. It's got these little plastic tabs in it. <laughs> Look at this one. How far top? I think they were all about out. Yeah, wow. Couple things here real quick. So when I went to get back onto the mower, I accidentally put my hand onto the control, which that will actually stop the mower from starting. I actually talk about it here in a minute in the video towards the end. Uh, so I believe it was just one of those fuses had worked themselves loose. This lawn is super bouncy and rough. It's got, it's got grease on it. First, I thought it was corrosion. Pull them all out real quick, see if we get anything. Oh, those look good. And they're dirty. None of them are broke. Check the plug. That was a quick fix on the job. Don't always go like that. No, though. it doesn't. It doesn't. Quick tip though, if your mower ever just shuts off, first of all, make sure you didn't hit like a branch or something on your key, which I'm on a big open field, so I knew that wasn't the case. And then immediately start checking little plugs, you know, any little plugs, uh, spark plug, starter wires, any of that stuff, fuses. Typically, Sometimes you get lucky like we just did, you know. I've had this happen before over the years running the same mowers that, you know, we keep fuses in the truck just in case. Those fuses can pop and, uh, you know, being able to just replace one real quick. But long story short, start with the simple stuff. I'm going to get back to work. I bet because the lawn is so bumpy, that's what caused the fuses to work loose.
why directional trimming is so important, guys. It's inevitable a little bit's gonna come out, but you don't wanna be slinging it all over a vehicle. Oh, Mrs. Cone, don't let me down. Rude. Coming in hot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Honey. Is this our trash? We'll pick it up. I don't remember that. We'll get it. We'll get it. Anyways, after 30 years of marriage, you should know I come in hot. You do come in hot. Just saying. Might go out cold, but I come in hot. <laughs> so, minor little scare. I'm gonna have to rewatch back the video. I don't know if I did or not, but I think when I went to restart it after checking diffuses, I may have had my hand on the handle. I don't know, but I'll watch it. But if I did, it won't start if I do that. So it may have just been one of the fuses, not the actual plug, but these lawns are rock hard right now. Things are drying up. It's getting extremely bumpy and, you know, rattling fuses out, wires loose, you know, stuff like that. It can happen. So how'd it go for you? It went good. I mean, looks good up here. Yeah, it looks really good. Cut it I three can, and a half. Yep. It's Don't uh. Don't go too short because it's it's hot. Yeah. This rain, what we do get, it's really just not doing a whole lot because it is so hot. Yeah, it's burning it up. So we'll see how the uh, rest of old July here goes. I got a feeling August is gonna be uh, a scorcher. Scorcher. 